guys and welcome back to the DG's Outdoor Productions guys where I have another DG's Tech Corner video for you guys. I got my IR light, okay? This is an Ordro IR torch, okay? And I think this thing cost me like $21 on Walmart.com. The reason I got it guys is because on my camera, my 4K camera right here, it has an IR function so you can film at night, but there's only three little LEDs. And in order to use this thing, you got to get really close to what you're filming. I want to do some coon hunting at night. I want to do some filming at night if I want to go out and shoot my airsoft guns or whatever. Then I don't have to have a million lights uh, when I'm out there filming. So at the end of this video, you guys will see the test part of this where I... Filmed with just the IR light on the camera and um, then it has a half setting on the torch and a full setting on the torch and we'll get into that here in a second. So this is what the IR torch looks like right here. It's got 20 LEDs right here, IR LEDs. It does have a hot shoot or a cold shoot up here on top to where you can put other accessories. Okay, just by sliding off this, I'll pick that up in a minute, little cap. Then you can add like another light to it or a microphone or something like that. Okay. Um, this is rechargeable. Okay, right here. You, it has a charger in the box. And a pretty long charger at that. I haven't used it yet. But I did already go out and film the, um, the little test piece. Now, according to the box... This has 20 piece LEDs. The wavelength is 850 millimeters. Two selection sliding switch, which is right here on the front, as you guys can see right there. The battery capacity is 2100, and the working hours is about 2.5 hours. And when you guys turn this on, it'll show a little green dot to show you that's on. Look, it's actually. On right there and then here's half it switches over to half pretty neat so it'll enhance my night filming capabilities it's an IR torch pretty cool this is made in China so huh You guys look right here, it says Fishing King something. I don't know what all that marking means on there, but it works because I tested it. So all it does is literally screw on to your camera right here. Screws on right here. And it is very solid. It's not going anywhere. Ooh, if I don't drop it, it's not going anywhere now. Also, with this thing, okay, I believe let me see, it'll actually fit right here on my camera. So I can use it with my U mount, with my U grip, and put the microphone up here. Speaking of the microphone, I'm getting two new microphones on payday. Okay, I'm having issues with this. You guys look really loose, okay. This thing, if I tighten it all the way back up here, sorry, if I tighten it all the way back up here, then it's not loose. I don't know what's going on with it, but this was the micro external mic that came with my camera. And I can tell you, if you guys look right in here, that little gap right in there, there's something loose where this plastic piece connects up in here. The microphone still works, but I don't want to try to put super glue on it just yet. So y'all, this was a short review of my IR torch. This is really going to help me film. Um, and now I hope you guys enjoy the test footage. And I will see you guys when you get back from that. Alright y'all, so this is normal IR setting. Which is... Pretty good. Yes, the house is a little messy. The normal IR setting right here for you guys. It's going to the bathroom. 
look around here. I'm in the complete dark. So here's the bathroom. The kitchen. Outside. The door. This right here is full IR. With that little torch on it. It's a lot brighter. Which is cool. Full IR. This is half IR. So instead of 20 bulbs, you're getting 10 bulbs. Right here. Not too bad. Now we're going to walk outside and see how it does outside. Alright y'all, so we're outside right now. This is normal IR with the three little lenses. Not completely dark outside, but it's dark enough. Right here. As you guys can tell, unless you're like really close to something like this tree. Well, now that light just turned on. Hang on. Let's go this way. You guys can barely see the the stuff unless you're really close to it. This is full IR. Okay, we're just gonna walk around here. Not too bad. You guys can actually see the the house and everything. Yeah, there's a few lights turned on, but. You can actually see those um, satellite dishes really well. Full IR. This is half IR. A little bit better than full, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, so as you guys saw, the IR torch worked really, really well. Um, in half setting, you know it was a little bit brighter than the normal settings on the camera right here. Okay, but on full, it made a world of difference. I didn't have to get so close to a tree, it lit it up like a Christmas tree. Let's put it, let's be honest here. So I think this thing is going to be really beneficial. Do I recommend this? If you're looking for a cheap IR light to film at night, yes. This is going to be awesome when I start doing uh, coyote hunting videos at night if I decide to do it. Or those early morning times where I'm walking into the turkey woods to hunt and you guys can't see me very well. I can switch over the camera to IR, film myself, and then get right into the hunt and have awesome dark filming. So y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.